hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create some awesome looking muzzle flashes inside of HitFilm Express for free. What you will need for this is of course your base footage, uh, some like dust and smoke assets like these, these ground hits that I have that are kind of just puffs of smoke and dust and debris that you can use to just make the muzzle flashes look that bit more realistic. You'll also need a muzzle flash shot. I have a couple here that I'm going to be using. So you'll be creating something that looks like this. So without further ado, let's begin. So what you'll want to do is right click on your footage and select make composite shot. Then rename it to whatever. And then hit OK. If you have any unwanted sections to your clip, uh, then just go through and delete them. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find the point where you pull back the gun. So... I see my trigger goes down there. So, now I've found that, I'm going to find a muzzle flash clip that I want to use, so I'm going to use this one. And just drag and drop that onto your footage to where your marker is. Now you want to scale your muzzle flash to the correct size and make it so that the barrel of the muzzle flash is where it should be. By the way, I'm not like I don't know much about guns, so my muzzle flash is probably incorrect, but it, it looks cool. And now as you can see it explodes like a muzzle flash should. Now you want to grab your dust impact smoke footage drag and drop one of these, one of your smoke hits on and just put it on. If it's got a black background or it's got a green screen or a blue screen or a different colour then you might have to key it out. Uh, my clip has a black background meaning that I'm going to right click and set my blend mode to screen. So now that's removed the dark areas of my footage just leaving the light areas. Now I'm going to rotate and position my smoke hit so that it's almost double the length of the muzzle flash. And you also want it to start with your muzzle flash. If it is a bit slow then you can right click on it and select speed and duration and I'm going to set this to something around 300 which means it's only going to be one second. Okay, so you've kind of made a basic muzzle flash that just explodes, how, which would do. However, if you really want to make them pop, then something that you could do, if it was a pre-keyed muzzle flash, then right click and do blend mode and then set it to either screen or add. Add makes it quite bright, so I'm going to use a screen blend mode. And then you can add a glow. that just helps again make it even brighter and it makes it glow more as it should. Create a new layer, create a plain layer and it's going to be black and rename this to something like black plain. And then drag it so it's only uh, two frames long from where the muzzle flash starts. Now on this black plane we're going to want to drag down a light flare, drag it down and put it on the black plane. Now right click on the black plane and make it a screen blend mode. Select the muzzle flash layer and position the light. Now in controls you can select any muzzle flash that you want. I'm going to use a golden artifacts flare. I'm going to set the intensity to 2 and leave the scale at 600. Now I'm going to set keyframing for both of these at the start of the black plane, move ahead by two frames and set the intensity down to 0.5 and the scale to 200. Now this really helps make the muzzle flash explode and it means that it adds that extra pop. So this was a tutorial on how to make super quick muzzle flashes that actually look pretty good. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then please leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye.